Hello and welcome back. You're watching We On World Is One. I'm Dr. Kamal. Let's start with the headlines first. I revere this office, but I love my country more. It's been the honor of my life to serve as your president. U.S. President Joe Biden tells Americans that he decided to drop out of the presidential race to unite his party and his country. An historic Oval Office speech says it was time to pass the torch to younger voices. Our enemies are your enemies. Our fight is your fight. And our victory will be your victory. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu defends Israel's Gaza war with Hamas in his address to the U.S. Congress, urges global alliance to stand together against Iranian axis of terror, calls protesters Iran's useful idiots. There's never been a lunatic like this in the White House, and we've had some bad ones. Donald Trump launches volley of attacks against Kamala Harris, calling her radical left lunatic in his first rally after she becomes Democrat candidate for U.S. presidential election. U.S. and Canadian warplanes intercept two Russian and two Chinese bombers near state of Alaska. Joint U.S.-Canadian Defense Command says the aircraft were operating in the air defense identification zone. Philippine flag tanker carrying 1.4 million liters of industrial fuel oil. Capsizes and sinks in waters off Manila. 16 out of 17 crew rescued, one missing. India Meteorological Department issues red alert predicting heavy downpours for state, states of Gujarat and Maharashtra. Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka, Odisha and Goa have been put on orange list. Asian shares continue to get hampered as slump in global tech stocks send investors fleeing into less risky assets, including short-dated bonds. Australian Olympic gold medalist Logan Martin says that some of his equipment have been stolen after thieves allegedly ransacked his team's van in Brussels ahead of the Paris Olympics. <laughs> 